Hey y'all, so I'm sitting out here on this beautiful fall day, relaxing and thinking about having a glass of tea. Just kidding. It is miserable out here. It's like 110 in the shade. The sun is trying to kill us in Texas. But anyway, I proved to you guys a few weeks ago that you can't really break bake bread in a uh, mailbox. You can't make biscuits in your car no matter how hot it is. But being from having lived through the 70s and 80s, I can tell you without a doubt that you can make tea, sun tea specifically, in the sun. So I accepted the challenge from Digging for Health. I'll put a link to her channel below. And I'm going to be making raspberry mint sun tea today. It, it, it's at least one way of getting some enjoyment out of this miserable heat. So let me show you how easy it is to make some raspberry mint sun tea. So I have a jar here. This was a half gallon pickle jar. And all I'm going to do is take some tea bags, because is it really tea if you don't have tea bags in it? Some people would say it's just raspberry juice or raspberry mint juice if I don't have actual black tea in it. I don't want to lose my southern card, so I'm going to put some tea bags in there. I'm just using a regular old Kroger black tea bags. In this case, I'm using three. Then I'm going to take a thing of raspberries. I'm going to dump them into the jar. Hello, Chicky. I will give you the raspberries when I strain my tea later today. Does that make you happy? Here. I'll give you one now. Here. There you go. And then I picked some mints out of the garden and I went in and I washed it to get it all clean. And I'm just going to pull some leaves off of here and tear them up. Put those in there. You can make different combinations depending on what you like. Strawberry, raspberry, blackberry, blueberry. And you just do the same thing that I'm doing. You want some mint? There you go. Now you have raspberry and mint. You are so mistreated. There's chickens at my feet. Alrighty, we don't want just mint, so we're going to stop there. I'm going to put the lid on, and I'm going to put this out in a very sunny spot for the next four hours. Let's see what it looks like. So I'm going to put this in the sun, and I'll be back in four hours. Okay, well, it has been four hours. And as you can see, a little darker pink than it was when we started. The raspberries are all puffed up inside of there. But I'm going to take this inside and I'm going to strain it to get the fruit and the leaves and the tea bags out. I'm going to add some sweetener. In this case, I think I'll add honey. And then I'm going to pour it over some ice and enjoy the rest of my evening. So let me go strain this and I'll be right back. And there you go. One glass of raspberry mint iced sun tea. I should have put a little bit more sweetener in it, but otherwise it is very good. I like all things raspberry though, so it's hard to go wrong with raspberry in my opinion. And the mint gives just a little bit of extra to it. You don't have to use the mint if you don't want to or you're not growing mint. You can just do the raspberry and the tea or, you know, whatever mixture you guys want to come up with. So 
I hope you guys give making sun tea a try. It's, um, you can use any kind of sweetener that you want. I'm getting into more using coconut sugar or honey lately, but, well, I've always used honey, but coconut sugar is new on my list. Um, thank you guys for watching, and if you haven't already, please subscribe.